All right, welcome back. So, we have some more to give out today, which is exciting. We'll keep this as brief as possible. Uh, thanks everybody who came out to the fair yesterday. That was a lot of fun. I saw a lot of cool projects. Um, glad you guys were able to, to participate. So, before we get started with the actual award announcements, um, this semester we received financial support from a couple of companies that allowed us to feed you guys yesterday, and that are also going to allow us to give the, the prize winners some actual prizes. Um, we did this in the past, but in the past I paid for this stuff. Um, and so it's nice to not have to do that anymore. Um, so I'd, I'd like to give a, a big shout out to, um, and, and Kyle um, on our course staff was really responsible for making this happen. He reached out to like 30 different companies and sort of you know, kept up with them over the entire semester and kept nagging them. And so at the end of the day, we, we had sponsors from Capital One. So round of applause for Capital One. Um, if you enjoyed the pizza yesterday, you can thank Capital One for that. Um, and then also uh, Facebook was our, was our second sponsor. Uh, and they uh, pitched in for the awards that we're going to give out today, we're, that we're going to sort of give out, because not all of them are here yet. OK. So. Um, let me show you what the winners are going to get. Unfortunately, I don't, I don't have these things yet, which is like super embarrassing. Um, when I was a kid, my parents used to always give me pictures of stuff for Christmas. You know, it was like, here's what you're going to get. But then it never actually materialized. Um, or actually, there was, one, there was one time where they gave me a picture of it one year and then the same picture the next year, right? And then the third year, I actually got the thing. Um, so. These are real. Um, actually, some of them are here already, so people are, can actually come pick them up today. They just arrived when I was out, so I didn't have a chance to grab them. So the, the grand prize for the winners is a pair of these uh, Fire 7 tablets. The reason why we give these out is they run Android. So they're a great development device um, if you want to keep working on Android apps, if you don't have an Android device, or if you need something to, to hack on as you're working on this stuff. So this is what the, the grand prize winners will get. Um, however, um, I also picked up because they're also fun. Some uh, Raspberry Pi Zeros. How many people have played around with a Raspberry Pi before? Yeah, super fun. Uh, lots of cool stuff you can do with these. So we have some of these as well for, for people that uh, win them. And then some Spheros, mini Spheros, right? So all stuff that you can program, all stuff that is fun for little side projects and things like that. So that's, that's what the winners are going to get today. By the way, if you're here, please open up the slides on your laptop, because that's how we're going to tell that you're here or your phone, um, so that we can give you extra credit. You don't actually have to follow along today. You just have to be on the slide. All right, so let's go through the winners. So we, 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 gave, we give prizes in two categories. We give prizes in an open category that is given to every, anybody, and then to a beginner category for groups that, in, that, that told us that um, they had a beginner in them. Um, this isn't always completely accurate. A couple years ago, Ben Nordic was in a beginner group. Um, <laughs> That was clearly a mistake, but um, thanks to David for pointing out that he wasn't a bad beginner. All right, so second place in the open category um, goes to Flowball. <laughs> Daniel and Ayush, you guys here? There they are. You guys don't have to come down, stand up, be acknowledged, but yeah, that was, I know how many of you guys saw the project. Very cool game. I was impressed. Um, all right, in the beginner category, second place went to Step Mobile, Amelia and Gian, where are you guys? Stand up. I saw, I saw you guys, there you go, yeah. So my favorite part of their project was they actually like went to the union and like hacked into the computer there to get the, um, the files for Dance Dance Revolution off of it, right? Which I don't know if they were supposed to do that or not, but they did, and that was, that was cool. Um, all right, first place in the open category uh, goes to the challenge. That was uh, David and Amanda. Um, I, by the way, I did not vote on any of these. Okay, so the fact that the top two have something to do with me is totally accidental. Um, so, so the winning project this year was the challenge clicker. I don't know if you guys did that. Yeah. So, again, this is. Last semester, neither one of the projects had anything to do with me, so this is not the way to win this competition. OK. So I will reach out to you guys about how to get your prizes. Everything but the Amazon, so except for the grand prize winners, everything but the Amazon uh, uh, Fire is here. 
Um, so you guys can come pick that up at your leisure. Okay, so, um, oops, these were supposed to not all come up at once. So, um, all right, so hold on, slow down. So, so we, give, we give three additional awards, and these are entirely at the discretion of the course staff this semester. And let me talk a little bit about these. These were not supposed to come up all at once, but. Um, so the, the awards that we give, these are what we call the Spirit of 125 Awards. And these are designed to, in, to reward and recognize aspects of what we think it takes to be successful in this class, but also aspects of what makes this class fantastic for the students who are involved. Um, so the first award, uh, the Community Award, last year went to Max Kapinski, who many of you uh, probably noticed on the forum. And this award is given to someone who um, was helpful, um, particularly on the forum, um, someone who maybe knew something coming into the class, but chose to, rather than kind of lord it over people, like share their knowledge and encourage other people. Um, David, we noticed, was very active in the forum, always very positive, so I think he's a great recipient of, of this particular award. Let's give him a round of applause. All right, so the, the, re so the recipients of this award uh, get something that's very near and dear to my heart. Um, they get... One of these. So, so the idea here is that this is something that's supposed to in, help you continue hacking, right? Um, this is a mechanical keyboard um, uh, of a variety designed by Jeff Atwood, who you know is the co you know leader of the Discourse project and did Stack Overflow. Uh, this is for your sort of next 10 million keystrokes. Um, I have a couple of these, both at work and at home. Um, this is mine. I'm not going to give it to anybody, um, but. I will, I will reach out to you about you know, selecting uh, you know, what options you want, stuff like that. But my hope is that this will encourage you to continue to work in this area. OK, second, so the second award. So the second award is actually the one that we give out that's entirely quantitative. OK? Um, so what, we, what I do is I go to Prairie Learn, and I look at the Homework 125 problem set. And I look for people that spend a lot of time on these problems, right? a lot of time practicing. Okay, and, and this, in this semester, we also looked for someone who, who didn't always get them right, right? Who was clearly struggling, but kept practicing and practicing and practicing. So Jade, is Jade here? Yes, yeah, so I won't embarrass Jade by pointing out how many days she spent on the Homework 125 problem set, um, but it was a lot, and I think that this really, you know, uh, was something that just sort of stood in for me for the determination uh, that it takes to succeed in this class. So congratulations to Jade. Let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> All right, so last but not least, so again, this is, this is another award that the staff uh, weighs in on. And, and this is given to someone who we feel like um, struggled in the class from time to time, uh, but kept a positive attitude you know, was able to encourage people along the way, um, and generally just sort of came at things with a really positive attitude, even if it, this wasn't always coming easy for them. So Rima Buhal won this last semester. If you, some of you know Rima, um, she's, she's just a fighter, you know, and she's incredibly positive and extremely uh, helpful to people around her. So Gavin Davis, where's Gavin? There he is, yeah. So Gavin was the, the person that the staff noticed um, you know, uh, you know, really working on the homework problem, struggling, not always getting things right, but, but always maintaining a really positive spirit. So we appreciate that. All right, I am getting close to being done. So um, I was hoping to have Ben here so I could talk about him for about five minutes and embarrass him in front of all of you, but he has an exam. Um, however, at this point, I think we're going to start to give, you know, something that maybe I'll call the Ben Nordic Memorial uh, CA Award. Um, but, you know, Ben can't win it every semester, and in fact, um, ben went on to do other things this semester, uh, but there was, there was a, a particular CA, I think, that stood out in everybody's, um, you know, estimation as someone who was, you know, the person when, when you guys said there's no CAs in office hours, he was like, I'll be there in five minutes, you know, uh, who was in office hours an enormous amount of time, who actually did a lab as well. I didn't realize that until a few days ago, until his TA emailed me. I was like, oh, wow. Um, where's Daniel Gleason? There he is. Okay. Let's all give Dan a round of applause. One of the other things I want to point out about both Dan and Ben is that they are not CS majors. Um, so most of you aren't either. Um, so just let that be sort of a lesson to you that excitement and passion about this field and the willing to help others and participate is not something that's confined 
to people that are able to study CS at this university. In fact, maybe it's even more abundant among people who are not studying CS. Um, I, didn't, I didn't say that. Um, all right. So unfortunately, uh, Leo's not here to present this award, but it's important that we honor uh, the winner of the meme competition, which is always an important uh, end of semester blow off steam event. Um, and this semester, it turns out that we have uh, somebody winning again um, for, and I, I, this, this shouldn't have scrolled off the screen. You guys know what this says, you know? Uh, it's a, it ain't much, but it's honest work, right? So Gavin, uh, you know, stand up and be recognized again for. <laughs> helping, helping people blow off some steam at the end of the semester. All right. That's all I have today. Thanks, guys, for a great semester. I will see you around. Have a wonderful summer.